fly with me if you feel like 550 on the fly sticky come get high with me that's a deal right ride with me if you ride with me you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fly sticky come get high with me that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet right that's a bet right that's new co-driver uh last race of the year for ara series and you already wrapped up the championship is that going to affect your driving situation this weekend? Uh, no, I don't think it'll affect my driving situation too much. Uh, you know, it'll be a little different. It might take a stage or two to get uh, for me and Steve to get used to each other. Uh, Steve's a very good, experienced co-driver, so I'm in good hands. But you know, switching up to a different co-driver is going to be a little bit of a challenge, just because I'm not used to his voice. You know, we got to get the pacing down. I, I haven't had a different co-driver in a few years so you know it is going to be weird not having press in the car you know we'll miss him but ah. yeah press on i think we'll be fine uh, but yeah i think just yeah just have a good time have fun and uh stay focused What is that stuff? Fire extinguisher shit. Did it catch on fire? Blew the motor, I believe, and we caught on fire. Uh, so I think we're done for the rally. Uh, we were doing really well, it's a little disappointing. Steve was great, uh, you know, we meshed really well. Uh, got up to speed quick, so that was awesome. Uh, yeah, we were putting up great times. Was really happy and excited, but uh, lost a little bit of power coming down a straight, and I was like, huh, now we've really lost power. And all of a sudden there's black smoke coming in the cabin. Look behind me, black smoke. I was like, oh yeah, we're, we gotta be on fire. So we pulled over, uh, sure enough, we were on fire. Used two of our extinguishers, both of them I should say, and then we waved down Pat and Oli, and we at least took one or two of theirs, and we had to red cross the stage because we you know, we couldn't get the fire out. But luckily we did get it out. Um, we didn't have fire rescue and everyone's safe, so that's all that matters. We're on stage three. Uh, you can tell it wasn't given full power, but initially we thought it was uh, a boost issue because we thought it sounded like a boost leak before we started the stage, just like a tiny one. And uh, we came out of a right five, and as we did, it just wasn't accelerating, and it was actually starting to slow down a bit. And that's when we realized it was a more serious issue. And then all of a sudden we started getting a lot of smoke into the cabin. It, it smelled like someone was on fire. We, we, Fortunately, it was a super long straight with turnouts on the side, and we pulled into one of those. And as we did, the black smoke started billowing out from the hood scoop. And, you know, I, stood, I could jump down, yelled fire, fire, fire. We grabbed the extinguishers, uh, used both of them, and it just kept reigniting. And so we had to red cross and flag down the next car, which was Pat Morrow and Ollie Holter. And got their extinguishers, and that was enough to finally do the job. And 
put the fire out, so we were able to save the car at least, but that's our rally. What'd you find, Ronnie? Um, well, this is an engine. On the, on the passenger side, you look at it real close. Um, you'll see that I didn't tell you. 